The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. I have sent my spirit upon him. He will bring fair judgment to the nations. He does not cry out or raise his voice. His voice is not heard in the street. He does not break the crushed reed or snuff the faltering wick. Faithfully, he presents fair judgment. He will not grow faint. He will not be crushed until he has established fair judgment on earth. And the coast and islands are waiting for his instruction. I, Yahweh, have called you in saving justice. I have grasped you by the hand and shaped you. I have made you a covenant of the people and light to the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. And our response from Psalm 29. Give Yahweh his due, sons of God. Give Yahweh his due of glory and strength. Give Yahweh the glory due to his name. Adore Yahweh in the splendor of holiness. Yahweh's voice over the waters. The God of glory thunders. Yahweh over countless waters. Yahweh's voice in power. Yahweh's voice in splendor. Yahweh's voice convulses terabiths, strips forest bare. In his palace all cry glory. Yahweh was enthroned for the flood. Yahweh is enthroned as king forever. And our second reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter addressed them. I now really understand, he said, that God has no favorites but that anybody of any nationality who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. God sent his word to the people of Israel, and it was to them that the good news of peace was brought by Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of all. You know what happened all over Judea, how Jesus of Nazareth began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, and because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark. In the course of his preaching, John said, After me is coming someone who is more powerful than me, and I am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It was at this time that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. And at once, as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit like a dove descending on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. My favor rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord.